Hello friends, welcome to Rapid Revision for Computer Science students. In this lecture, in this section of Theory of Computation, we will be discussing the regular expressions in detail. Regular expressions are the simplest way of representing a regular language. For every regular language, regular expression is constructed and every regular expression represents one language. For every regular language, we may be able to construct many regular expressions that is RE1, RE2 and so on up to REN. But uh, reverse is not true. Suppose we have a regular expression that belongs to only one particular regular language. So this is uh, the important point that has to be kept in mind. And uh, for every regular language, regular expression is constructed by using input symbols and following three operators. We are using input symbols and uh, three operators that are listed below. That is, first of all, we are using union operator, which is represented by plus sign. Second, we are using concatenation operator, that is represented by a dot. Third one is clean closure. Clean closure is represented by star. Okay, so these are the operators that we will be using in order to um, uh, make a regular expression. So let's take some examples and convert a regular, represent a regular language in terms of regular expression. Suppose we have got this regular expression and we will write the, but if we have, we are having the regular language and we will be making the regular expression for it. First of all, the language given is an empty set. Empty set is denoted by phi in regular expression. Suppose we are having phi epsilon as a as the only input or as the only symbol in regular expression, regular language, then it it can be represented as epsilon in regular expression. Suppose we are having language as only a as a, the alphabet input symbol, then we are having uh, we can represent it as a. Suppose we are having a comma b is the language then we can represent it by using union operator that is a plus b suppose we are having a string the a b uh, so the, that will that is represented by the concatenation operator that is dot and uh, suppose we are having a language that is uh, the represented by that is that is having epsilon a a uh, a a triple a and so on infinity up to infinity then we can represent it by using clean closure clean closure that is represented by star. So it will be represented by A star. This is really important. Suppose epsilon is not present and rest A, 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 A uh, and A, 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 triple A and so on is present, then we can represent it as A plus and it is known as positive closure. Positive closure and the A star is clean closure. So these are all the basics regarding the regular expressions. And in order to solve the questions regarding the regular expression, you have to go through the next section, next lecture that is the, uh, that is basically focuses on the properties of the regular expressions. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now. Thank you.